Our mission is sustaining communities through gardening. So the gardening is the vehicle and what we do is we grow food, we grow friendships, we grow education. Uh, the BOGO committee has certain monies that they are responsible for and they decide how to distribute them. And we've kind of changed BOCO in the last year, so now BOCO has SSGs, so they have um, special small groups that come together and sometimes they're just doing work, sometimes they are doing work and they need money in addition to that. So we try to decide where best that money will work. And then the two big um, offerings of the year, the Easter offering and the Christmas offering, um, BOCO decides who will be the recipients of those two offerings. And this year, the Easter offering, um, it was decided that the Easter offering would go to City Sprouts. We want the money to be used so it can impact the community as, most, as best it can. And um, obviously having Roxanne be a part of City Sprouts and be a part of Countryside was, was a good push for this group. I was a youth director um, in 1998 with Scott Hazelrig, I was his assistant. And then when Scott moved on to the Air and Space Museum, I became the youth director and it was some of the best times of my life. City Sprouts is the oldest community garden in Omaha. We were established in 1995. Since that time, it has grown and grown. We used to just have flat plots on the ground, now we have 50 raised beds and the Orchard Hill neighbors can rent the beds for the summer and we charge them $20, and there's also scholarships if they're unable to pay. We provide seeds, plants, tools, water, education to help them grow fresh produce for their families. Um, we have four main goals at City Sprouts. One is to increase the production of fresh food in Omaha. The second is to um, provide education, so in addition to the Gardening, we also provide education on ways to grow the food, how to prepare the food, canning, preserving the food. Our third area is um, in employment. We offer employment opportunities for kids in the neighborhood who may not have had a chance to have um, a summer job. And we teach them the things that are expected when you get a job. Show up on time, dress appropriately, be respectful, turn off your cell phone. And for a lot of these kids, this is the first time they've had actual employment. They may not see it modeled on a regular basis in their home. And so even if they don't if end up not loving farming or gardening, they've had a chance to have some employment, earn some money for their family. We help them um, write a resume. We teach them interviewing skills. And then if they get ready to move on to another job, we're able to give them a good reference. So that's um, one of the things we do. The last thing we do is build community. And the way that we build community is through social events here at the house. Uh, we have potlucks every Wednesday. People work in the garden, take care of their fruits and vegetables, garden. Everybody washes up, they come in the house, and we share food and conversation and um, create good neighborhood. Ten small beds, so we'll do a pizza garden, and then we'll do some herbs, and we'll do just fun things that they're interested in. And then we Did have you a say pizza garden? Pizza garden, so you do tomatoes and basil. I can get behind that one. Yeah!